So real simple today, does the Floyd Rose FRX work with the EVHD tuna? Hi, my name's Tristan Rivers and I'm here to help answer that question. All right, so I'm gonna try to do things a little bit differently this time. Uh, I mean, I never work with a script or anything like that. I just kind of say what's on my mind, but uh, it looks like to put an EVHD tune on to a guitar, it doesn't really take an awful lot of work. So I'm just gonna kind of go for it here, and if I say something really dumb, I will maybe edit it out. Um, so, I almost removed the line bar there. So in, in the EVHD tuna stuff, you've got the, the actual piece there. You've got a couple of these hex screws um, that will replace the ones that are gonna be in the Floyd. You've got the spring that goes inside the mechanism, and you've got this little tiny Allen key that adjusts the fine tuning on the uh, D-tuner. So this could be a very short video if this doesn't work, but uh, we'll give this a shot. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to have to do, at least according to the instructions, I, I did actually take a look at them before I uh, decided to make this video just so it wasn't a complete embarrassment. Um, first thing that we're going to have to do is, I guess, loosen the low E string because I'm going to have to pull that uh, fine tuner out. So we'll just take the Allen keys for that. Now, if, if you're not aware of this, in order for the, the D tuna to work, you need to have a stabilized uh, um, the trem system for it to work. So I'm not sure if the trem setter screw will work as, as enough to keep it in place, but you definitely have that, uh, or not trem setter, I can't remember what they call it, but uh, the, the little black um, sort of plastic uh, thing that holds it in sort of zero position, but uh, you do have like that a thumb screw that'll block out your FRX, which will work perfect for uh, the situation. So as long as <laughs> there's enough clearance for the uh, detuner to actually fit in this little space, um, this could actually work out really well. So, all right, the first thing I'm gonna do, of course, is we'll just loosen that completely off. And we'll lift up the fine tuner here. And then I'm gonna pull this uh, this screw completely out. All right, you probably can't see what I'm doing too very well, but uh, I'm just kind of winging it here. I probably should have done this on a table, but uh, I guess that's just not my style. Just like soldering, don't, don't do that. Um, <laughs> please uh, solder on a table and on your lap. Uh, so you don't burn yourself like I do. So this is not looking terribly promising at this point. Um, there's the FRX screw, and then here's the the ones for the D tuner. They're they're pretty long, um, so I'm, we'll see if one of them fits. I know they need to be longer to fit the actual mechanism, but uh, this is a considerable difference. So we'll see what this does. So yeah, I'm gonna try the shorter one just because there's not a ton of space here, and then we'll see what. What happens? Well, the instructions are, are not terribly great. They show a, a couple of pictures that maybe I'll just cut to them or something. It doesn't really show anything in terms of how to do it. It just shows pictures of, of the D-Tuna in EVH guitars. So that's, that's not really <laughs> doing us any favors for the instructions, but I'm pretty sure it's it's pretty simple. It's uh, there's, there's very little here, so there's really gotta be just one way to do it. So. I got the spring here. I'm assuming that just goes in the barrel of this guy here, and then our fine tuner is probably going to go right through there like that. So let's see. We got this piece here. So this should fit in right into our saddle here. Well, it's tight, but it's not in the way yet. Okay, well the shorter screw does fit. Just lock that back in place here. Okay, so in this outer position here, that should be a D, so assuming this even Well, it does seem to fit. Um Okay. 
let's get this up to a D. Okay, so I've got this in drop D tuning. Then I believe what I should be doing next is uh, locking it up. And then there's this little hex screw that you turn to fine tune uh, the D tuner into like uh, the proper E tuning. So yeah, tune the E string to D at the headstock. Um, then fine tune the E string to D with the uh, bridge fine tuner. Okay, so yeah, we'll just lock that back up. Uh, it really does stay in tune very well uh, when you lock those down. It doesn't change your pitch very much. Uh, <laughs> every time I, I use this guitar with this FRX, I'm just more and more impressed with it. Okay, well that's, that's a problem. Got my fine tuner too loose here. Just, that was my fault, not the FRX. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we have drop D tuning. Now we just push this guy into place. Nope. Could that be the... Oh, there it goes. Ha! Huh. It's almost in tune already. Where it is. So let's see where... How I gotta lock this thing. So we need to fine tune this. I guess probably so it only goes so far back from the spring so it's in tune. At least that's my best guess. So I'm a little bit... A little bit flat. So that actually might be... Is that a problem? Let's see. Well, I'll have to figure this out. I mean, it, it definitely fits. I'll, I'll finish this up and, and figure out a way to get it to be in tune. But... It does seem to fit in the place. If, if, I, if you use a, the fine tuner too far, you don't have room to manipulate it though, which could be an issue because you've got that bottom piece on the FRX. But it seems to fit in there. So I feel like there's gonna be a way to make this work. So I'm just gonna jump off here for like a couple seconds here and see if I can sort out exactly what's going on here to get it to stay in tune for both D and E. All right, I'm back. And I think I was just not, uh, not being smart. It, it, it looks like uh, I just had to adjust the um, the detune, a fine tuner a bit more with like the tiny little Allen key on the, the set screw on the side. Uh, so, I mean, this, this thing, it's it's in tune now. It's, it works. Um, there's an E. Drop D. So it's really a simple. It's just getting those two things in tune. So, um, keep in mind that with this, you're, you're not going to be able to pull up on the bar, right? You're committing to a downward only um, trem, which is totally the Eddie Van Halen thing. I mean, that's what you'd expect from something that says EVH on it. Now, keep in mind, though, even though with an FRX, we can, we can take that little thumb screw and remove uh, it from being in the way to have it blocked out, um, this... Detune is still going to be in the way of the physical movement of your uh, trim. So even if you decide to you want to go floating all of a sudden and not worry about being able to easily switch between uh, standard and, and drop D, this metal piece is still going to stop you from pulling back. So you're either in or you're out. So either you're using the detune on here and you can't pull back or you're going to want to remove that and be able to pull back. The good news though is as you can see, it was super, super easy to install this thing, and it's gonna be just as easy to remove it. So, if for just like, I don't know, like a week you needed it, you know, super easy install, then uh, if all of a sudden you wanna be able to go both ways with your FRX uh, in terms of up and down with pitch, then you just swap it out. You just need to take your, uh, your old fine tuner right here from the Floyd Rose and just put that right back in the place of uh, the EVHD tuner. All right, so there you have it. Um, if you liked this video, you know, obviously hit like. If uh, you haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit subscribe. If you like seeing these kinds of experiments or just gear reviews and stuff like that, I'm, I'm kind of still pretty slow at getting these things out, but uh, I'll keep trying to do better. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you next time.